Hello and welcome to phase 3. Unfortunately we managed to lose one of the AI to um, an act of stupidity earlier. He managed to get stuck in a building. So we're now down to a single fire team. Two of my guys are in an MRAP and I have an uh, MRAP standing for mine resistant um, anti-personnel? I'm not sure. Um, anyway. Uh, got another two guys with me and we're going to support a commando team that's moving up to go and take this airfield. Said commando team should be taking up an overwatch position shortly. We're going to move in via the trees and very carefully try to take some of these buildings whilst the commando team are otherwise engaged. Just up ahead! 100 meters, front! Rifleman! 80 soldiers! 100 meters, front! Ready to fire! Move out! Okay, let's go! Covering, go! Annoyingly, the game will not let me call in a danger close mortar strike, which means that I can't call down mortars on these fellows, even though I've got a really good view of them. So, I'm going to have to determine whether there's any AA here. I'm assuming not from the way that things are currently set up, so I'm going to call in um, an air thing. Ooh. There's an Ifrit. Poor looking straight at me. That's not great. Soldier, AT soldier, 100 meters. Really right oh, we are so meters, right up ahead. Dead. Soldier, AT soldier, 100 meters, right up ahead. Soldier, AT soldier, 100 meters, right up ahead. Embrap! 100 right meters! Probably front! Suicide. So we'll sit here. Soldier! 200 wait meters! For right up ahead! The close air support to thin them out a bit and then engage from there. Okay, let's go! Cover me! Go! Target in sight! Moving out! Target in Go! I'll cover! Weapon 
Yeah, weapon. Die, 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 die. Also has a tier weapon. Okay, maybe call one process, but what is a good idea in an airfield? Those are the special operations troops, they're very well equipped. This is not a light Three. defense force they've got here. Hopelessly Cover me. Eight. Sit red. Requesting close air support at the designated location. Over. My God, we are outgunned. I was not expecting they would deploy special forces at this airfield. I'm almost tempted to call the entire attack off, but yeah, actually, Dane's to move. We should still be okay at this point.
that guy got smoked. I'm never entirely sure when to say that, whether to mean their front or my front. Okay. I'm going to place it on the wrong one. Did have five bullets left, but make these kill. me out of ammunition at a very inconvenient time. Holy crap. Gotta reload! Um I really need to pick up a weapon, don't I? Two! Move up! Solid copy! Civilians, Jesus Christ. There's never been civilians who have worried me around here. Whoa! Somebody shooting at me. There's a weapon about now. Oh, he's back alive. No, it just looks like it. Let's call in the helicopter again to clear up for a bit. Requesting close air support at the designated location. Over. Two, move up! On the way! Standing by!
two. Move up! Well, after the train wreck that was Phase 3, although ultimately a success, we're now moving on to Phase 4. Phase 4 being the clearing of the town, Yanuka. Two commando sections are already moving up to position themselves around the town. One is going to move through the woods and begin the engagement, the other is going to position themselves from Overwatch up on this hill. We are going to be moving up with the Overwatch team, but moving down into the town to assist as necessary. In addition, I'm going to be calling in any kind of air support as and when we need it. Um, try to avoid some casualties as usual and minimise the you know, collateral damage. You have to be quite careful to choose to use any of that. Uh, we're using the vehicle that I stole after seizing the airfield in phase 3. Hutchison is the Marine Commando who was still alive at the end of phase 3 and I've got three special boat service guys with me as well to make us up to a full fire team. in preparation for the big battle going to Kakula. But before we can attack Kakula we're going to need to take all of these locations just because we need the manpower. Manpower being the green value on the right. Um, which means that we can deploy more troops. The reason I can deploy two sections of commandos now is because we've got more troops. They also have ammunition which allows me to produce vehicles although we're not using those yet. Later we're going to be doing things like helicopter assault and things with us, which should not only greatly increase our survivability, but also greatly increase the general speed at which we do things. But if I go on top of this rock, I'll be able to get a good view of what's going on. But I don't think the AI will be able to get up here, because the AI is fairly stupid. Oh, 
on the other hand, they can see through trees, whereas I can't, so they've probably got the ultimate advantage. Oh, they can just position themselves up there. Excellent. Move! 75 meters! Right! Fuck up! Oh, I don't have a scope because I picked up a seesaw weapon <laughs> and now I don't have the ability to zoom in on anything. Well, it's going to make me a bit less useful than I would otherwise be. That's a go of an RPG. Ah, good. This uh, town just has small pockets of militia. Should be a lot easier to take than that Ready. I feel previously. Hopefully won't take nearly so many casualties this time. I think in total we must have lost about 15 guys on that previous one, which, as far as I'm concerned, is a catastrophic failure. I don't have any UAVs or anything deployed yet, so I can't get a really good picture of what's going on here. But from an overwatch position like this, it's almost as good anyway. And I have a laser designator if I need to use it. Rifleman! Half a click! Northeast! If it's weird that I keep zooming in on things, it's because it helps the game realise that you've actually spotted AT these soldier. people. AT Soldier! Half a click! Just, North you know, East! it up and pretending you've seen them. There seems to be quite an anti-tank presence here. Fortunately, we don't have any tanks. Um, what I'm not seeing, crucially... Man! Half a click! North East! ...is anything resembling anti-air. And if we can confirm that there aren't any anti-air forces here, which it doesn't look like there's going to be because these guys aren't special forces, then I should be able to call in a... Ready to fire. ...bit of uh, support to help us target before the commando's moving. Eyes on target. You want these guys to move 300 meters left. Okay, let's Target see how this works out. Target in sight. That's roughly as much planning as is necessary for this. This should be a relatively simple operation after taking Target out that sight. airfield. Requesting close air support at the designated location. Over. Even better, I don't see any civvies. And I could Up. even consider potentially using a mortar strike. But I'd have to definitely Eyes confirm there's no civvies anywhere around here. Ready to fire. Man, half a click northeast. And that's RPG, RPG, RPG. Oh, well, all the guys in that Ready area are definitely um, heavily armed anyway. So let's call in some mortars. Requesting immediate fire support at the designated coordinates. Over. Target location received. Ordinances inbound. Out. Fire at will! I'm not I've got it! And now let's now watch the heat.
Yeah, this will sound so much better. I've just got the sound mod. And the explosions will look so much better. That's pretty piss pop. Oh my god, you're running directly into the goddamn uh, mortar strikes. Yeah, don't do that, guys. That's a terrible idea. So maybe I'll go through, alright. How fast are they bloody running in? I think I can go to set their speeds. swept through the town, eliminated all the enemies, and problem solved. Sometimes the AI can be quite efficient, other times it can be hopeless. 